what I need to do now is actually screenshot my pictures. Um, I believe Matterport calls it a different, like capture pictures. I call it the screenshot. Anyways, you get that by just clicking your edit tool and then of course your photos button here. And this is kind of mimic a camera screen here. But that's why Matterport is so cool because you can, you know, move your camera throughout the house or the property that you're in and it will create the virtual tour, scan the measurements for the floor plan, but then also afterwards in post-processing, you can go through and grab the pictures. And now for this client, this one is okay with just the Matterport pictures. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna deliver for them here. And now this button was just added not too long ago. I will say within the last two or three months, I imagine. I like it, because when you click it, it resets camera to the horizon. So the view will go with the horizon. And as you can see here on the left and right side of the screen, um, where I'm moving my mouse up and down, it it aligns with the wall or any straight line. However, when you do that, when you click that button, look on the floor or look at a different line that you can match up. Because sometimes you'd be all like this, you click it, but it's just not exactly right. Um, so just play around with it. But anyways, kind of get it dead on, center it, boom, click capture. And now my computer is a little slow or my internet uh, so when you click the capture, wait till you see the photo saved in the bottom right hand corner before you move. And the reason because if you click the camera button <clears throat> and you move your position within the tour before it says photo saved, well, your photo, you know, it won't save. And so I got my first initial picture of kind of like the entry. Um, what I do is I kind of go through the whole tour taking pictures and then at the end, you know, I see which ones I want to keep, which ones I, you know, just want to delete and all that jazz. So you may see me take and take weird pictures, but um, just bear with me and I'll explain it as I go along. But anyways, we got that. I'm noticing my computer is a little laggy here, but we should be good. So I line it up. Excuse me. I find the view that I want to take. I line it up. You can use your scroll on your mouse if you haven't to zoom in or zoom out on pictures. Um, and you can click this little reset button to kind of go back to the default zoom, which is usually a hundred. This is how I start. I just kind of go in a circle, take a picture, you know, the, the view going, coming in the front door, looking in, you know, into the house, um, kind of take a few pictures left of me, right of me, but also looking right back at the door again. Now I just clicked it, waiting for it to save. Boom, it's saved. And like I said, my uh, internet's slow. When I'm doing this on quick internet or plugged into ethernet, usually as soon as you click this, um, you know that's saving there. That one could have been iffy. I'm not sure if that picture saved because I noticed I moved prematurely there. But nonetheless, I kind of like this picture here. As you can see on the left and right side, my lines are even. I'm using the wall or the trim, in this case, as a reference point. Kind of move on over here. Again, like I said, I'm just taking pictures everywhere. Usually, I, I double them. So if I want like 30 pictures, a lot of times I notice I'm screenshotting 60 of them and only keeping, you know, about half, give or take. And so photo save, I think is that one. And so you guys see me zoomed in. I want to go ahead and reset it. And now there's really no trick to this. Uh, the best way to kind of get inspiration, if you will, is look on Zillow or Realtor.com or any, you know, marketplace website that sells real estate and just see how everybody else does it. You know, dining room pictures, um, see how their angles are, see what they do with theirs and just kind of mimic it. And now in my market, the majority of the photographers actually use, you know, like a DSL, DSLR camera. They don't, you know, exactly use a Matterport camera to deliver the listing photos um, like I do and so the reason why I mentioned that is because my angles my views and also the resolution you could say is oftentimes a lot different from other people in my area but that's okay because this is with the Matterport it's great technology you know regardless I think the quality you know is actually great for what it is it's just not as vivid or clear um, as you might find or might see with a DSLR camera. 
I always get tongue twisted every time I say that. But the clients in this case, or the homeowners rather, they turn on the fireplace as you can see here on the left hand side. That's always nice because you will get a nice visual of what the fireplace looks like. You see here in this little corner, I put my tripod right in between. I love how Matterport automatically blurs that out so you can't see the tripod. But whatever you have to do to get a great angle, you know, go ahead and do it. Uh, let's see, that looks about right. Click this little tool and moves it down. Let's see what it looks like zoomed in. Mm. Thing like that. You know, these pictures are wide, don't get me wrong. Uh, not everybody likes the wide view. I like the wide view so I can get, you know, the whole space within one picture. But it's up to you how you want to do it. All right, got that one photo saved. Here, I probably, I actually should have spent a couple more minutes on this fireplace. Um, got a better shot, maybe a different angle with it. But we will be able to make this work here. Boom. All right. I just like kind of getting a picture of a fireplace, especially if it's on, because it always looks good, you know, on Zilla or what have you. And as you can see here, my little Matterport camera and the reflection there. I know some people go in and the still pictures and edit that out. I'm honestly not worried about it. You know, I'm not selling, or excuse me, I'm not, you know, shooting houses that are worth millions uh, of dollars, so I don't worry about that too much. And I don't think anybody in my market really cares too much about that. Anyways, resetting my camera to the horizon again. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit because I want the focus to be mainly on the dining room table. Um, kind of show up the dining room space there. Boom, taking that. And as you can see right outside the windows, it was snowing here. Um, and so that gets interesting when you're taking outdoor shots. I actually had to wait till the snow kind of let up for a couple seconds. There we go, do, 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 do. All right, uh, let's get that right side over. I'm just moving it over, there we go. All right, reline it again. Boom, take my picture, let it save, all right, saved, and then I'm gonna reset it, and then I'm moving right along. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, just, uh, there's really no right way of doing it. There's no, you know, correct way, there's no magic or whatever. I just find inspiration looking on Zillow at houses for sale. I see what the veteran photographers in my area, if you will, how they do it and I kind of mimic it. Not only that, when I look at houses myself, you know, on Zillow, Realtor.com Realtor and all the other ones, you know, I, I, I find the pictures that I like the most and the angles and I just kind of copy that. Because if I was buying this house, I try to think of what areas of the house I want to see at what angle. So I just kind of keep that in mind as I'm doing it. Um, one thing that's interesting about this, which you may see too, on the Matterport camera, you know, since it's wide lens or wide angled, when you're on the stainless steel, do you see the, the fridge looks super wide compared to the island? I hate that. But if I switch it, you know, make it look more realistic, I don't get my sink in there. Um, so I'm gonna play around with this one a little bit. Maybe a cut off. I don't like that. I really don't. Um, let's see here. Maybe I'll get half the fridge. We all know fridge is over there because you can see it. I don't like this picture too much, but I'm going to take it just in case I absolutely need it. You know, the uh, countertop is, is super nice. I believe these were aluminum chairs. I can remember touching them. They were super light. <laughs> all right, moving right along here. La, 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 la. Get a good angle there. And now I use my grids, you know, as you can see along the screen, you have the tic-tac-toe grids, you know, three, 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 top, middle, bottom, and they could do left, middle, right. Uh, whatever your focal point is, obviously you want to have that in the middle there. And, you know, if I was just, I can go real crazy and kind of zoom in just like that, but I'm not. Get wide, maybe get that fridge out of the way. Mm. I kind of like that. I think that would be all right. See if I can get more of that cabinet. I don't want the fridge, but I'll get that cabinet in. All right, take that picture. And as you can see, like with these pictures, they look great. You know, they don't look too bad, especially when you're able to use the same camera to go in, uh, create the virtual tour, you know, grab the listing photos, as well as the measurements for the floor plan. You honestly can't beat it.
And so that's just, you know, that kind of looks cool. But, all right, I kind of want to see the stove top. And now when I'm around stoves and sinks and whatnot, I uh, usually lower my tripod just to kind of get a better angle. On this particular one, I actually should have raised it. And it's because this is too low. <laughs> this is like a uh, like a view from a child, I suppose. I should have been more up here, but I'll still take it. Probably won't use it. But I'll screenshot it. Uh, but that's just something to remember. When you're around the appliances, you know, you kind of want a natural line of sight. You know, I, I don't want to be looking under the cabinets because if I'm standing at the stove, I, I wouldn't see under the cabinets. And so I don't want to see that in the picture. Kind of like the double stove here. Grab that. Once it's saved, boom, it's saved. Reset it. Could do that view. I wish it was higher so it's not as close to there. Let's see what I can get for my sink action. I like shots like this. You know, when it's kind of like angled um, around the sink. Let's get a little bit closer. Not bad. Again, this one I should have just went ever so slightly higher. So I was a little bit above the sink, not right at it. But regardless, going to go ahead and click the screen capture there. And wait till it's a save. I'll write it saved. See if I can get another better one. Uh, maybe I want this too. I'm not sure. How does that look zoomed in? And as you guys can see, I'm constantly just playing around with it. Zooming in, zooming out, changing my angle. You know, standing on one scan point and turning all the way around to see if I like a you know particular angle or a picture. You just have to see what works best for you. All right, cool. So I got, I already got this picture. I was just checking it out. All right, moving right along into here. Now bathrooms get interesting. Um, all right, so the one at the doorway, that's usually the one I use for the bathroom. Reset my horizon. If I zoom in too much, that's bad. All right, if you can see here on the left-hand side, you see where the Matterport camera kind of distorts it on the trim. Um, that's typically because I'm like way too close. So that typically means I'm way too close to a surface. So it kind of distorts it, uh, but no problem there. I just kind of zoom in, move my mouse left to right, kind of hide it. And that's basically all we can do. If you see this mirror, it's showing a little distortment as well. It's not the end of the world. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that picture and move right along. This is basically the only picture I use for bathrooms. Um, I could go in here, you know, and try to do something else, but I'm okay with that picture I just took. I mean, that one's not too bad, but I'm okay with that picture I just took. I'm not worried about the garage in until the very end there. All right, and I know I still need to do this little, this is an office it's used as a child's playroom. All right, and now with all the toys everywhere, you know, uh, plays, I was having a hard time kind of getting a full visual of the room, but I think this one's okay to kind of get a general idea. Again, as I'm taking these pictures, I'm acting like I am the person interested in buying this house, so what would I want to see? I was going to say I took one in this corner. Uh, that was kind of boring. Did I take one over here? I did. Let me see here. I took one like right here. All right. I'll probably go ahead and do this one because I mean it's you're we're talking about four walls here some toys maybe get that door handle so you know I'm right in the center line it up all right like I said it's literally just playing around with all the views and seeing what works best but at, also as I'm capturing the space and walking around with the camera I'm also thinking about this as well so if I click my 3d scan button up here in the edit bar in the right hand corner you will see that, you know, a scan point here, a scan point here, a scan point here. This one says 128. That means because before I left, I'm like, oh, let me just, just in case. <laughs> and I got the scan point here. Again, I always say I over scan the space, so I never have to go back. That would just, you know, I don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, I over scan here of all these. And then before I'm done, I will go ahead and remove all those. So we're good to go there. Uh, I Ooh, I do like that. See, that's the upstairs. I'll go up there later. 
but I'm always thinking about my entry shot as well. Because that's kind of the money shot. That's usually the first picture. Whoops. That's usually the first picture you see. So once I get done, I'm probably going to go back and look at all these little scan points I have to see which what picture would be great for um, like an entry picture. Mm, possibly that, but I doubt it. Anyways, all right, so we did the whole first floor. And I just added one for shits and giggles there. So we did the whole first floor. Now we actually want to go you know, do all the other floors. In this case, this has three complete stories, a finished and unfinished basement, a main level, which we're on now, as well as the upstairs, which has all the, um, or I should say the majority of the bedrooms. Get a nice little picture of the staircase before I walk on down. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and go down. And now I, I do wanna mention, the reason why I take my pictures before I start removing my scan points is because some scan points I did solely for a picture. And so I don't wanna clean up the tour by removing all the unnecessary scan points because as I'm going through it, you know, my picture would be very limited. Do you see that? It's a very short movement, okay? All this is on purpose. And so you just have to think about that as you're moving around the space. And now I kind of want to have on the left-hand side, and this is up to you, <clears throat> excuse me. I kind of want to have a, um, you know, have some of the stairs sticking out just ever so slightly because if people are just looking at the pictures instead of the virtual tour itself, I want them to be able to visualize without thinking too hard of where this is at, you know, in relation to, you know, the stairs walking down the basement. And seeing a little bit of stairs, they can instantly, you know, realize that this living room or family room area is actually right next to the stairs. I do one in the corner, kind of do the whole shebang here. Uh, I always struggle around TV stands like that because I don't like TVs in there. But as you can see on the left hand side of the screen, I also don't want all that white wall in there. It's just not needed. Whoa, what's going on here? On the right hand side, that's straight. On the left hand side, that's straight. Let's just get that whole entertainment center out of the way there. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so I don't get that TV stand. Do you see when you're at regular zoom, it's like this TV stand, bottom right corner. Do one scroll on the mouse and all is well again. But I zoom 110. All right, go ahead and take that. Boom. You see the stairs walking down. You see this kitchenette little area. <clears throat> it looks great. All right, move, moving on over here. Another sink, and I do it just as if this was a kitchen upstairs. Kind of straighten out the horizon. I don't like that picture too much. Uh, let's move it just so we go. Line it up again, boom. Again, around these sink areas, you should go a little bit higher so you're not looking under the cabinet. That could be more of a preference than anything, but I just think it visually looks better. That one's kind of cool, but I don't know if that's too important. Go back in this corner. As you can see, I kind of, I always do pictures in corners, not all of them, but typically right in the corner, you know, so it's kind of easier when I'm adding these to a floor plan or just for my regular listing photos. I can't zoom in too much more. How about this? Let me go right here. Uh, I'll go ahead and use this as a picture. Do you see I'm kind of hiding the wall? Oh, let's see. Yeah, it's funny that I'm recording myself doing this because um, this is my exact flow. It's, you know, constantly just thinking, do I like this view? Do I like that view? And I'm sure some people, as I'm moving along here, they will have a better view or whatever. Um, and that's great. This is just how I do it. So I'm sure everybody else will find their own way too. I should have took one right here. That's why I checked my 3D scan. I wish I had one right here. I usually do. I, I'm not sure what I was doing here. Not doing is what was going on. All right, I don't like this angle. I hate it. Um, usually I like the fans kind of in the middle. This is not so much, but I'll go ahead and take it. Cause I believe I was planning on using this picture. Planning on using you know, at the start of the bed, Ooh. these angles are going to kill me because, you know, my camera wasn't centered. I think that's all right. I don't like this one just because of this black frame, you know, is kind of distorted on top. The fan looks kind of weird. 
I know I took one of one of these corners, that one. That was not horrible. Let's go ahead and get that. Again, on top of this frame, you can see a lot of distortion there. There's actually not much you can do. I can either stress about it or not worry about it. And I'm gonna choose not to worry about it because using this system, it does have limitations and that's one of them. Did I take one over here? Oh, I did. How does it look over here? I think that looks better. That looks a little better. I'll go ahead and grab this just in case. I typically do about two pictures per room. Per room. I take that back. I take a whole bunch in a bedroom. I may screenshot a few of them, but I typically only keep about two pictures per room. Um, you know, people can get the visual of it with about that. I don't like my camera. Usually I do it without seeing the camera, but that one's okay. Let's get the angle right. Let's make it look right a little bit. All right, go ahead and do that. And this is kind of how I do bathroom shots. Um, well, this is one style. Another style I would do as if I was right here and kind of look right in, kind of as if you were just opening the door and see. A lot of times people just prefer this. I have a thing about showing toilets. You know, I try to hide them, or not hide them, just show, you know, just a very small part of them, maybe like the tank or such. We all know what's there, we all know the shower's there. You know, and that's just my mind thinking with that. Okay, and now this part is unfinished. I know that because I was just here. And now you can see this picture shows the door closed. This one shows the door open. And now let's look at the scan points here. This is a great example. This was my first shot I took in this house. And this was a 16th shot I took in this house. And now here's what I did. So when I came through here, I started with number one, two, three, four, you know, five, six, whatever. But at the end, I knew this was unfinished storage. And now my client actually does not want the unfinished storage part shown in the final tour. I believe that's a homeowner preference more than theirs. And so what I do is I start the tour with, with the door closed, but because I actually need to hop in there to grab measurements for the floor plan, as well as to complete the dollhouse, I have to kind of trick the Matterport camera and rescan in a place that I already scanned that the Matterport camera already is familiar with and kind of move my camera carefully right on over to the spot I didn't. And now this is what it always does because you just kind of see a break here. I'm not gonna explain this too much in this video, but uh, Matterport is slightly confused. Like, wait a minute. When we were on this first scan point, this door was here, but it was closed. And now all of a sudden it's open and it's yes because I, I had to kind of trick it to kind of get in there. And now sometimes it gets tricky to actually get in there, but here we're at. Here's that little unfinished part here, la 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 la. That's just that. And now once I'm done here, and once I start editing this tour, you actually see me remove those scan points. But remember, we are not there yet. We are still working on removing, excuse me, we are still working on uh, taking the screenshots for the listing photos. Let's go ahead and walk upstairs. All right, I, I do like these landings. They're not as boring as, you know, the typical just straight up and down. I should have took a picture right in this corner. So I could have really looked at that. You know, the, the angle or the view would have just been a lot better if I was in this corner. But I remember that for next time. See if I would have done it right here. I would have been able to capture more of the area downstairs, have this this staircase right in the middle and not so much blank wall. Um, but I didn't do that, so this is all I have, which is still great. It looks, you know, really good, but it could have been better. And so th this is, you know, things I'm constantly thinking as I'm moving along the tour, but also to help me remember when I'm in a house like this next time of what to do here. And now earlier when we were on the bottom floor, remember this little stair, or excuse me, this chandelier up here, right off the landing, there's a front door. So I, I knew when I was up here, I'm like, okay, I need to make sure I get a picture to kind of show off that. Oh, I didn't think about that. Maybe I can get an image with both chandeliers, both windows. Hmm, I'm not sure. I think it looks great. Not sure if um, they would think it looks great, but let's go ahead and screenshot that. 
I kind of like it. It shows, you know, the chandelier right off the balcony. This one right on the staircase. Uh, let's see here. I could do straight, you know, head on, but it's not as, you know, visually appealing. That was not bad, but I do see there's a family portrait there. Not entirely sure if they want to be on Zillow, so I'm going to skip that one. Oh, okay, I'm out of scan points. Turn this back on. So as it turns out, I didn't take as many as I probably should have right here. I should have probably taken that one like right around here. Because what I'm trying to do is get a good angle on this uh, on this chandelier. I can't. I was hoping to get the front door, this railing, and the chandelier. But that's all we got here. Anyways, this is another one I will go back to once I'm done. I don't spend too much time if I can't figure it out why I'm doing it. I try not to spend too much time on it. I try to keep it moving. Okay. Laundry room. This is just uh, a little room, but it's, you know, measurable room. So I want to go ahead and get it. I remember there was clothes in this one. I believe it's a dryer. So I don't want to get in there. I just do it like this. It shows a sink, washer and dryer, the racks, you know, the door. So, you know, you're entering it. Um, and this was a little room here child's room a baby rather all right and now if i have the fan here centered you know if you see on the left hand side the shelves look weird so i can't do that and so let's center it what does it look like if i zoom better i'm actually gonna go that little green in the top left hand corner that doesn't bother me I'm, i like that picture more because with the uh with the bookshelves on the wall I feel like your eye keeps looking at it because it's distracting. So just by zooming in ever so slightly, it's less of a angle. You know, I don't fit all the room into that picture. However, I think it looks just slightly better. Uh, let's move it over. There we go. All right. Boom. Take that. And houses like this, you know, they really show well. And now I do want to add, some people won't deliver this picture because of, you know, it's kind of, overkill or you know just too much coming in the window um but i you know again using a matterport camera that's expected and my clients are aware of that and so i can get away with that and now if i was a you know using a dslr camera or just doing the still photography photos for this house i would not deliver pictures with kind of like the overcast and that you know, look at all that. It's just phew, too much. It's not visually appealing. But again, I'm using the Matterport system. It's not a professional camera like that. It's great virtual tours. Not magazine quality images here. All right. I always like getting one down the hall because sometimes hallways are confusing of like trying to visualize where bedrooms are, you know, um, upstairs and all that so I get a picture of the hallway and this is for my floor plan so people can see it I may actually use this one I like this one better all right I like that one better so I won't use that whole hallway it had too much wall in it and so that's why I said in the beginning you may see me screenshot a whole bunch of pictures but I definitely don't use them all because uh, you know on that last game point I'm like oh that's a good hallway picture but then I jumped over this one I'm like oh that's better so that's probably the only hallway picture I'll get Hallways are, you know, you don't need to know too much about a hallway. All right, kind of get a break there. Let's see what it zo zoom in. Oh, I like that angle a lot better. All right, yeah, this was a nice house. Oh, like I was going to say earlier, you know, when houses look like this, you know, it makes my job a lot easier because there's not clutter. You know, everything is bright and white and, you know, well decorated. Whoops. And so when I'm going through this house, I just know the pictures are going to turn out just fine. And like I said, it makes my job a lot better because it's less editing afterwards to kind of brighten up the space, you know, and all that jazz. And yes, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, but I do edit the pictures ever so slightly in the tour. And now I used to just deliver them as is, but I don't recommend that. You want to at least you know, thumb through a photo editor just to kind of spice them up just a little bit because Matterport does, you know, it does a great job, but it's not the best 
for sure, especially in darker rooms or in darker spaces. One thing that I notice, light is my report's best friend. So you want to make sure you have all the light you can get. That's why like this lamp is on here. That lamp's on up here, of course, is on. I don't like the orange light. I hate that. I wish I was paying more attention to that in the tour because I probably would have shut it off. Um, but that's what we got. Take another one there. Boom, once the photo saves, I'm going to move right into the ensuite here. All right, this was a gorgeous bathroom here or ensuite, whatever. All right, kind of move the angle. Boom. And this would just kind of show the double sinks here. And now you can go in the shower. I did not go in the shower to do that. But you could if you wanted to kind of really show it. I don't go too much into, you know, the little pocket bathrooms like that. I love the tub. I don't know if that would be my angle because the shower is blocking it. But just in case I need that photo of the tub in that position, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Probably one in the middle. Ouch. You know, that one's not good. No, that would be zoomed in too much. I don't like that. Did I get one closer? No, I didn't. All right. So it's funny that in one breath I could say I over scan to make sure I get the picture. But then the very next I'm like wondering why I didn't get the right angle on a particular feature in the bathroom. In this case it would be the um, this stand-up tub here. All right, I'm going to go back to this. Spending too much time in here. Moving right along, all right, start with the primary bedroom or the master bedroom in my market. The terminology has been changed to primary. All right, let's see here. Got, I mean, I could do that, but then it's those books are super confusing. That's why I'm going to deal with this less than spectacular angle and all that waste of space on the left-hand side because that's the best I can get. Let's hop on over into this corner here. All right, and now here's my car here. And now when you're outside, excuse me, when you're inside, be careful when taking your pictures. Um, park down the ways, never in the driveway. You know, always be mindful of that because if people know who I am, they obviously know that I took the pictures of this house because there's my car there. Now, sometimes I'll be in a house and I'll park, you know, like let's say right here you know, offset from the, or just further up from the mailbox. But if I'm in the dining room and I take a picture looking outside, it's like, boom, my car's right there. And it's just, it doesn't look the best. You know, I'm, I'm assuming people think it's a neighbor's car, whatever. But, you know, if you're the photographer there and if your car is blocking a good, you know, view, you might just want to move it. All right, save there. Did I do another one? Nope, I didn't do too many pictures in this one. Again, one at the door, one at the angle, and then I'm moving right along here. So I got the primary bedroom. Whoops. You see, sometimes it kind of tweaks out here. All right. And now I'm going to do the bathroom. It kind of put me right in position that I need it. All right. Let's do, 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 do. I don't like the towel. But let's just go ahead and get that. I know I came into this bathroom a little bit longer than the other ones. So I want to make sure that it, it looked complete in the dollhouse. Let's, and do you see I use this vase um, to kind of block the camera here. But that's all right. That's too low to take another image. Like I said in the very beginning, that's typically all we get for a bathroom picture anyways. We don't get too fancy here. All these rooms kind of have this little notch here. And so move my camera view there. Again, that's the only reason why my picture isn't like that. Because I want to get that notch out of the way. But also gives a good excuse to show more of the window. Show how bright and airy this room, you know, feels. Especially waking up and looking straight out. All right, angle. That one's good. I did one in both corners because I wasn't sure if I wanted this one to show the hallway kind of looking down. Or if I just wanted to continue to only show the bedroom. But I did this photo kind of showing, you know, where the bedroom is in relation to the hallway and, of course, the landing. But, again, not sure if I'm going to use that or if the realtor wants to use that. And so I would do one 
kind of catty corner from, whoops. <laughs> and watch where you click, as you can see. Okay, let's go back here. Let's try that again. Find my angle, reposition my horizon, take my little picture, and now, boom, we are moving on. And I believe that was all of my pictures. Yes, bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, laundry. Okay, and then once I know, go ahead and click that, exit, boom, my photos. And now, the ones with a date and time, obviously those are pictures that I screenshotted. The ones that are pre-named, these are the ones generated by Matterport. Let me just show one. They're not bad. Okay, it's just, they're, they're not bad. It's, I believe it's AI taking it. Look, I basically took a picture exactly like that. I took a picture, you know, like that, you know, literally like that. They're not horrible, but sometimes you get some like that, which that doesn't do you any good. Um, so I don't use them. I don't even look at them. I just delete them all because I know it's, I'm thinking about it too hard if it's a good picture or not. So I just delete it and only use the pictures that I manually screenshot because I just feel a little bit more confident doing that way. I'm sure some of these images could be better than mine, but here we are at. Okay, let's see how many pictures that is. 52 pictures, not bad. So this is a five bedroom house. And one thing that slightly is annoying, I suppose, with it, you know, it kind of starts, um, it goes from descending order. So the last picture I took starts at the bottom and the first picture I took is up here. And probably not annoying, you know, to other people. But to me, I like doing things in order as I did it because that's how I remember it. But I have to go through here and see. I'm not sure. Let's see here. The bedroom one is downstairs. I'll probably label the bedroom downstairs bedroom one just to keep it simple. And you guys can go through and label them how you wish, how you want, you know, what's recommended in your market and all that fun stuff. I like labeling the bedrooms first, probably more of an OCD thing than anything, but also kind of helps me keep track of these rooms as well. Cause I want to make sure when I do the floor plan that the rooms also, like if it says bedroom two, I want to make sure it reflects that. People aren't confused. This is the primary bedroom. Copy, paste, paste, on suite. And now, okay, so I use, when I edit them and I export them, it kind of puts them in order. And so when I upload them to my delivery system, I normally want to put primary on suite, but because I wanted to kind of file next to the primary bedrooms, because that's where it belongs to, I'm going to do that. And so that may be, that's just a little tidbit there actually. All right, so bedroom two, bedroom three, this would be bedroom four. And this is the upstairs bathroom. And now some MLSs, you know, they do them totally different. This is again, just how I do it. They may label them just bedrooms and not number the bedrooms. They may not call them en suites and all that. This is just how I do it. So I got the bedrooms. Like again, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Upstairs, hallway. I'm gonna copy and paste that here. Again, not sure which one I'm gonna use. This is laundry room. Upstairs landing. Probably gonna call these all upstairs landings. And in this bathroom. Geez Louise, forgot where this bathroom was. Oh, that's the <laughs> Basement bathroom. I'm like, is that the bathroom on the main floor? But it's not. Okay, this is bedroom. Yeah, basement, basement. I call this basement family room. Again, I would typically just call this family room, but I wanted to kind of show up, you know, in order. So I'm putting basement kitchen at. That doesn't look right, but we're going to go with it. See, I do a lot of just copying, pasting, copying, pasting. This is staircase. These I typically call entry. Uh, let's call it office playroom. Oh, den, office den, let's call it that. All right. Yeah, you guys are seeing exactly like my thought process as I'm going along this main 
floor bathroom and then a whole bunch of kitchens i didn't remember go through the kitchens before i actually deliver this bad boy here but a few pictures i want to actually work on before i deliver this to the client see i won't even need you know three dining room pictures that's excessive but i'm just keeping them here Ooh. See, I get caught up. This one's actually Eden Kitchen, I call them. This is what we call them in my market here. Eden Kitchen, Eden Kitchen. Because this little guy is the dining room. All right, call that the entry. Uh, dining room again. Entry, all right. And now I select them all again. This is a picture that Matterport took from the original start view, but we already took that out, remember? So I just kind of unclick that. We go ahead and download. Go ahead and download at the maximum pixels here. Boom. And now I will get an email with the uh, Matterport pictures there. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that email there. And get an email from Matterport just saying the 2D snapshots you requested, they are ready. It's typically instant there's only been one time that i can remember where it was like five minutes to get the pictures which was kind of strange because i'm like what's going on with the pictures but it's usually instant and then it just downloads here as a zip file i use chrome so it just kind of downloads right here in the footer again i have slow internet where i'm at so it you know takes us time downloading here but i'm going to show you kind of what i do afterwards and now, like I said, I could actually deliver these photos as is, you know, exactly how I have it here, but I'm not. I'm actually going to edit them just ever so slightly before delivering them to my client. Oh, it's almost done delivering here. Excuse me, not delivering. It's almost done downloading here. Boom. All right, it's done. Click to open. Show that process the same everywhere. All right, and this is champagne. I always mark them champagne, or excuse me, interior or exterior. Champagne's a town this house was in. But I label them um, interior, exterior, because I usually do the exterior with a different camera. That's not my Matterport. So I got them right here. And now you can use any, you know, editing system, whatever, like Lightroom. I used to use Lightroom until I learned how to use Luminar 4. Luminar, Luminar 4 is pretty cool. You just have to kind of dig through it yourself to kind of see if you like it. I'm not too familiar with all the different ones. These are just the ones that, between Lightroom and this one is the ones I know. All right, let's go ahead and find it. Uh, interior, yes, all right, boom. This was a different house. All right, and now Let's minimize this screen here a little bit so it fits in my screen record. Okay, and so this is what it'll look like when you upload it to your uh, editing software. You know, these are preset looks for different houses. These I, you know, named to different houses. Now, editing, I'm actually not going to do a video on the editing process because before I learned how to edit pictures, I used to think way too hard about it. And I used to do like automatic editing, um, you know, the AI editing, whatever they choose. But I don't recommend that. I really recommend spending a few minutes, you know, on YouTube, learning how to edit your pictures, even if it's just slightly editing them, like make them lighter, make them a little darker, you know, removing some, you know, blemishes, whatever, making them sharper. Uh, do it that way because like this, if I were to do, if we find it like... Um, if I, these are all just different looks. Like they have one called like automatic or AI. This is, this is original. This is doing AI. Original AI. Okay. I was in this house, you know, just about two hours ago, a few hours ago. So I know for sure it's not this dark. Okay. This looks too warm to me. You know, I'm sure I can just, uh, well, I can click it. You know, I can kind of play around just a little bit with it. Um, kind of brightened up, 
but um, it just seems really warm to me, so I don't I don't prefer it at all. But you can do that if you wish, but I uh, I choose not to do that. So I mean, it's let's do it before and after. The left side is before, this is after. It's not bad. I just don't like that. But anyways, I'm not gonna do the video about how I go through and edit these. I spend about one minute per picture going through these. Granted, there's 50 pictures here, but it won't take me 50 minutes because I'm actually deleting a lot of these as I'm going down here. So I will actually be back after these pictures are edited to show you my process of when I'm actually uploading them to the delivery platform. And in my case, I use tourbuzz.net as my asset delivery platform to deliver my pictures. Uh, floor plan or my interactive floor plan in this case as well as a virtual tour on a single page website so I'll do that in just a few minutes